is our new game that we're running on the new GPU. That is in the 8660 chipset. So Snapdragon 8660 has an integrated GPU called the Adreno 220. 220. 220. So this um, is a dual It's a dual core chip. Um, called 8660. Um, it has two cores. Each runs. Each core runs at 1.5 gigahertz. It's our own custom design CPU. So the design is called the Scorpion. It runs at 1.5 gigahertz. It's, it's the more power efficient and it's the fastest. The CPU is also the fast. Or the GPU is also the fastest um, in the market. So this is a game. Um, just kind of showcasing what you can do with this type of thing. It's really kind of like a gaming console. Um, so you have um, complex shaders, obviously. You have 3D textures. Um, you're doing uh, things like alpha blending, god rays. We even have um, 4x anti-aliasing enabled in this game. So 4x, 4x. So this is the kind of thing you see in a, in a PC game, or Xbox 360 game. Now we can do it in a mobile device. So it's pretty. And then we're also doing, if you notice the graph around her, that's actually uh, physics. So we also have a physics engine, we do a physics simulation. And what resolution has this coming? Yeah, so this is getting rendered to the uh, screen of the device, which is WVGA, 800 by 480. We can obviously do, so this same game can run at high frames per second in a large screen too. Um, right now it's getting upscaled. So it's not to that resolution, it goes, always goes to the device resolution. But it, you know, if you had a bigger screen, you could, so it looks, looks, looks you know, sharp and play on the, on the device. It's just getting off scale for the TV. We put a big screen so you guys can see it. But if, if this device was a bigger screen, it would still be the same quality, same, same resolution. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And which kind of device actually these yeah, so, um, so there's um, 60 designs or so that are coming out in the next few months. The first one that announced this chipset was the HP Touchpad. Touchpad. They made a big announcement a few days ago. You can actually go see it in the uh, HP booth. It's really cool. This thing is so smooth. So that has this chip in it. We don't have seen any games that they show. Only in the operating system. So, yeah, yeah. Our first impression with the system. Yeah, there's a lot of games actually because this chip really allows you to take the games to the next level. I mean, this is this demo. We've been working on it for a short time. It's only about a month or so we've been developing this. There's even more to go. Like we can even add more complexity to this. It's still going to run it's high frames per second. It's still going to be, you know. Uh, this game, but right, right now it looks like a colossal game. I've never seen anything like this in the mobile space. The other thing you can do is you can also keep Dolby Sonata. So, this is right now Sonata. I don't know if you saw that, that demo over here. It will also be the only company, so the 8660 is the only chipset that can do 1080p video playback, 30 frames per second, in 3D. So not just 2D, 3D. We can also do 3D capture at 1080p. So if I had two camera sensors on this, I could capture the two streams. And I could do uh, camcoding at 1080p 3D. So I'd be walking around Barcelona taking 3D pictures with my phone. Then I can play back on a TV with 3D capability. It's pretty amazing stuff. So, did you see that though? Is that true? Uh, that's true. Yeah.